So welcome back everybody, this is week five. Um, today is just a quick reminder that uh, I'd like to maybe uh, <coughs> email me uh, about your teamwork um, and uh, just in general if you have any uh, specific uh, questions regarding a semester project that you should be already going through uh, and trying to analyze. Many of you have already sent me in e an email. I may not have responded just yet, but uh, I will be responding definitely tomorrow because uh, tomorrow is my processing day for uh, all kinds of uh, issues and stuff related to the coursework. Uh, so anyway, so you'll get my feedback tomorrow if if you haven't already. Other than that, um, if you you know if you have any questions, uh, you can bring them up now. If not, we can proceed to uh, to our today's topic of discussion. So, uh, so today, what I would like to do is uh, <clears throat> I sort of informally mention UML, right? Um, a few times already, and we talked about UML. So, UML, UML, um, uh, uni um, unified. Uh, modeling <clears throat> uh, modeling language uh, what it does it basically allows allows to talk about software uh, before Before it is a, it is actually a written, right? So before software exists, we should be able to talk software, right? And so UML uh, comes with a variety of uh, diagramming uh, uh, notations, right? So primarily, we say it's a diagramming. Uh, uh, diagramming tool and we will go over uh, free tools we can use in our class. Uh, I prefer to use primarily um, uh, just a whiteboard uh, like this, you know, and just capture my drawings. And at some point when I already start working on the software, then I sometimes go back and, and uh, you know, begin to uh, Use uh, modeling tools to, to to start diagramming, but in our in our case, uh, we're just going to formally design the system. So you will be asked to do a lot of UML diagrams. So we're going to be uh, working with some tools, but today I'm just going to use whiteboard very informally because I really want to get to some guts of UML and essentially demonstrate uh, what what we need. So the type of uh, UML I would like to cover today is the, just to remind you that we already said that uh, we can use uh, really kind of uh, silly type of diagrams with uh, uh, UML, uh, with use cases, right? So when we when we determine use cases and the collection of all use cases gives us the functional uh, specification for our project in. Um, otherwise also known as uh, functional requirements, right? Uh, functional uh, requirements. So at this time, um, I will be asking you to uh, produce a diagram such as, you know, an actor uh, which has this type of uh, notation, right? And this can be, um, I don't know, um, user of some sort, right? And that user can do things to the system. So uh, use cases are usually drawn as bubbles like this. And usually there's some kind of verb uh, phrase that is used uh, to name it. And uh, uh, they uh, those use cases demonstrate the actions uh, within the system uh, that are available to the user. So. We will cover use cases uh, more formally. 
um, uh, uh, over uh, upcoming couple of weeks. Uh, but today I would like to uh, bring up and, and talk about other type of diagram, um, which UML recognizes, which is the class diagram. <coughs> okay, so another type of diagram I'd like to talk about is class uh, diagram. So I would like to do some demonstration with that. Perhaps what I can do is uh, do another sort of like instance of this uh, whiteboard thing. Okay, and uh, <clears throat> uh, for instance, um, we may be reading a user description of the problem, right? And they can have, uh, and they can say in their description, for instance, that uh, uh, organization. organization uh, has departments okay so if I kind of ju jump ahead of myself and think oh it would be nice to have a class name organization and a cl and a software class name department uh, then I can actually do this by saying organization Right? Organization, department. And when we have this uh, has type of relationship between those two entities or between those two, two things, uh, like I said, in UML, before any line of code is actually written, we can represent software classes simply as boxes, like this, right? So simply as boxes, so organization could be a class and department can be a class. And um, the has type of uh, relationship between two classes is simply drawn as connection like this, simply showing an association. In the most general notion, uh, we say that organization has departments. In fact, this connection between two boxes is pronounced as organization has department. Uh, um, if we'd like to make this plural, perhaps we can specify an asterisk on this side of things to say organization can have uh, any number of departments and make it plural. Uh, so we don't at the time of our design, right? So this is some kind of early design stage, and maybe even earlier stage of analysis of user requirements. Uh, so in, in any of these stages, uh, we do not specify anything specific to our programming language. So we don't specify how organization holds a list of departments or a vector of departments or some sort of mapping of department. We just don't specify it. We just say that, well, you know, the, the association exists. Somehow organization is capable of keeping track of departments. Also, when this association has no uh, directional notation, it can be pronounced either as departments have organization or organization has departments. If I would like to uh, discontinue having each department, like having each department access to the organization, I can actually add a, an arrow notation here just to say that you can only go this way. So navigability of this diagram says that organization has multiple departments or has uh, more, can have more than one department. Okay, so then we can say that uh, a department, a department uh, has uh, employees, right? Employees. Uh, what it means that, again, we can have a class name employee over here, right? So again, this will be some sort of a box representing software class. And now again, we can draw this asso uh, association. So I would think that it would maybe, it would be beneficial to an employee to be aware of what department they belong to. So maybe I, c I will just do not draw any arrows over here and just keep it uh, 
bi-directional so that the employee can access its department and uh, and the department can can access obviously the list of employees and most likely again we want to specify that there is some sort of multiplicity on this side of things that the department can have multiple employees right so the department can also have a department chair or manager of some kind right so we can uh, we can have uh, a manager class but if we do have them a manager that manager would be kind of employee right so we can say that manager if we envision manager software class they would be uh, somehow related to employee in fact we most likely would like to inherit all properties of the employee by the manager class and that of course is done by uh, in uml by the way it's called generalization in our software it would normally be called inheritance type of relationship right so manager essentially this type of association is always directional and it uses this uh, triangular hollow uh, arrowhead to specify again in this diagramming we always um, observe the direction in which we need to be interpreting the diagram and this one says that manager is an employee so it inherits uh, all methods and all uh, attributes from an employee class um, if we wanted to specify that uh, by the way remember that we mentioned that each employee has access to a department so this arrow obviously applies equally to the manager because the manager at runtime will have all properties of employee and will uh, uh, obviously also be able to access the department. So we don't have to repeat this thing over here because that would be absolutely unnecessary unless we create a separate reference to the department uh, by, by the nature of inheritance manager just like an employee will have access to the department right so so these are the types of associations I would like to explore uh, today uh, basically this is uh, just called association right association type of relationship between classes and this is generalization or inheritance uh, can be used equally uh, the same way uh, and uh, uh, of course the classes themselves uh, we can uh, we can explore today so this uh, overall is very informal view of what I would like to practice with uh, today and and try to cover so that some knowledge that we gain today we can use in the future uh, as we uh, as we uh, go back to um, user requirements analysis uh, use case analysis and uh, functional specification for the semester project.